Okay, so I don't know if you can see the, in the midst of all this jungle that I have in here, but um, I had this thing, I thought it was just plain old lamb squatters. It came in, um, in a mix, kids mix that was in uh, Bountiful Gardens, from Bountiful Gardens. Anyway, this thing here, I believe is, is quinoa. I had another plant in the same pot and it was big and bushy and it just looked like like really exuberant um, lamb's quarters or it didn't quite look like aurac. Anyway, <laughs> it appears that it was probably, it probably is a uh, red quinoa. It dried up and it's been raining for like the last three days. And uh, some of them actually are starting to sprout. I don't know if you can see the little sprouts, the little white, white stringy things. Those are uh, the the sprouts coming off of the seeds. So anyway, I just cleared this thing. This large green container it had um, corn in it, which didn't do very well. <coughs> and uh, lettuces, which did very nicely, but um, they went to seed, and I cut them down. I cut the seed heads. Um, I'm, I'm just putting them here for a minute, and then I'm gonna take them upstairs and um, hang them up to dry, because obviously they're not gonna do very well if I leave them uh, well, I mean, like, they, could, they could probably all germinate, but I don't want that. There's a lot of seed. Anyway, over here also I have um, a bunch of these lettuces that were in these hanging containers. I'm going to try and harvest as many as I can today. Because it's a lot of seeds and I don't want them to scatter. And because it is so wet, I don't want the seeds to get spoiled. Um, and also there's some celery, celery uh, that went to seed and I think most of the seeds, or maybe not most, a lot of the seeds are ready to be harvested. So. Anyway, so I want to, I want to try and cut these also because I, for the same reason there's a lot of rain. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow as well. You know, it's very cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain again today. So, um, I'm going to try and cut as much of these seeds as I can. Everything is kind of getting, um, getting out of hand. <laughs> you know, rain, rain does that. It accelerates everything. And, um, my tomatoes are looking pretty good. Um, I'm seeing some stuff which I don't like. Let me see if I can show you. All right. Can you see this? Little black specks. I think those are, um, those are, what do you call it, tomato hornworm caterpillar droppings. Let's see where I can, if I can find this little bugger. There it is. I found it. And guess what? It is covered with little little uh, parasite uh, eggs isn't that fantastic so yes that's that is that is what happens when you um when you allow nature to do its thing when you bring in lots of um what do you call it lots of flowers for pollinating insects to come they dwell in your garden and when when uh enemies 
bad insects come along, then they do their job. Then they're there, they're there to uh, take care of what you need to take care of. And see, this guy is kind of small still. He hasn't done a very, done very much trouble yet. I really don't see any trouble other than than those uh, those droppings. So, uh, <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> anyway, I'm very happy. I'm very happy about that. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, I don't see any any trouble in any other the other tomato plants. Um, look at all this water that came. That's like three inches, four inches of water in this pail. <clears throat> I'm, I'm so excited about all this rainwater. But I don't see any um don't see any trouble over here at all. But I mean like I said, anyway, if trouble does come, then I have my uh, my squad. My uh what do we call them? What are we gonna call them? The hornworm busters? Whatever. I'll have to think about that some more. Maybe you guys can help me think of a good a good term for uh my uh squad of um bad insect destroyers. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> I have to think about that some more. Um, in the meantime, um, these these tomatoes did fall over because, of course, the rain came and the winds came and they grew and <clears throat> they flopped over. So now I have to tie them back. I'm gonna do that in a minute. Nicely, nicely uh, put together all the uh, all the tomato vines are pulled up nicely so that they don't hang and get get messed up and broken. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plant these quinoa, these red quinoa, since. They're already re-sprouting, and I think that they're fast enough to produce seed so that now that it's August 1st, by the time October, I guess, comes along, I might have more seed, and if not, I do believe that these will overwinter nicely also, and probably um, make seed next year. Let's see how it goes. I don't know. If at the very worst, maybe I'll just have some quinoa greens <laughs> for the winter. Let's see how it goes. I don't know. It's all an experiment. I don't know anything about what I'm doing. <laughs>